Rec Room is not a cash grab. Here's why. You have probably seen the not-so-recent inflation of item prices, specifically the lore-orientated items, with one of the most recent sets originally costing 50,000 tokens before the public outcry. And from a consumer's perspective, you probably think that Rec Room is trying to exploit the players, and their only goal is to make money. But that's not entirely true. Let's look at Google's definition of the word cash grab. The words cash grab is defined as a product designed primarily or solely with the intent of generating profits or money. Like those weird mobile games underneath the Family Guy clips. Does anybody else hate those? Anyway, if you download one of these apps and play them, you will 100% get an ad at some point, usually against your will. And if you did not know, they make money off of each ad you see. And that's what a cash grab is. Quick, easy, and cheap products, in this case the game, to make money out of people. And that's not what Rec Room is. The game is not solely for profits. Rec Room has a thriving community that has been built over years of work while providing utility to the users. They also do not solely make profits off of you and I. They don't force us to see unskippable ads that fill their pockets. The only way that they make money off of a user is by the token shop, where users willingly spend real money to get tokens. Before I move on to my next point, could you just take like 3 seconds to subscribe? It really takes no time. Thanks for helping me out. Now, what is Rec Room intending to do with the money? What they are most likely doing with the money is speeding up development. Believe it or not, everything they do costs money. Like fixing bugs and exploits that ruin our experience, developing new ROs that we yearn for, keeping the service running 24-7 for all players to enjoy, stopping hackers from breaking the game, developing Rec Room Studio, and even suing a 16-year-old kid. <gasps> And these lore items are allowing them to continue making this game great. And there's still a business, which literally is supposed to make money. I mean, can we really blame them for wanting to continue making easy money while developing these amazing features for us? We literally have the power to create VR chat quality rooms and experiences at our fingertips. And we're the ones supplying them with the funds to do so. OBJECTION! Stop, 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 stop. Yeah, I'm not gonna continue with this bit until the end of the video. Let's just go back to the drawing board. FOMO, or otherwise known as the fear of missing out, is an emotion that causes people to make irrational decisions to feel included. And this emotion could be driving people to buy these lore items. But the problem is, it's not. FOMO mainly relies on two senses, mainly the sight and sound. For example, imagine a pop-up shop with a halo on it. You see everyone around you wearing the halo, and you hear people talking about how amazing the halo is and how it goes with every outfit. So you start to feel left out, and you decide to buy it for no reason other than to fit in. Now, what are people seeing and hearing about the lore items? Well, for one, they're seeing plenty of videos hating on these lore items. And if we go to any rec center, I don't really see anybody wearing these items. So they're not seeing these items be worn or praised. But what about hearing? Well, I went into a rec center and interviewed some people, and here are the responses. What is your opinion on the rec room lore items? They are terrible. Are the rec room lore items good or bad? They're not good? Nope, they're not? Alright, thank you. Thank you for your response. Are the rec room lore items good or bad? Alright, thank you for your response. What is your opinion on the Rec Room lore items? Are they good or are they bad? Bad. Yeah, the mid. They're okay, mid. I guess. They're okay. Alright, thank you for your responses. So not only are we seeing videos of people hating the lore, but we're also hearing people hating the lore. And that's why FOMO isn't a strong argument against Rec Room. People are hearing and seeing these items being hated on. So why would they like it and buy it? It makes no sense. It's easier to join on the bandwagon when people are hearing and seeing people hating on these items. So in conclusion, Rec Room's lore items are continuing to fund the game and help develop amazing features for us, the community, to use. And we should not make outrageous claims like calling them a cash grab or greedy without doing some research or thought. Yes, it may be a bit discouraging looking at the latest S pop-up shop, but we should really think about what we are getting, like faster bug fixes, RRO development, and Rec Room Studio giving us the power to make our own quality games. I mean, some VR games don't even get monthly updates. 
let alone weekly. And calling Wrecker a cash grab just for putting up optional shops is absurd, as there are still so many great things about the game. And we should push our opinions in a polite way, because the devs are just trying their best. And that's why Wreckham isn't a cash grab. Since you made it to the end, why not subscribe? And also, you should check out this video here, where I played Wreckham with my dad. And lastly, have a wonderful day!